Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakai Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about how we can use partition by method in Delta table. So if you are someone who doesn't know me, then I am Sakai Prajapati. I create videos on Data Factory, Databricks, SQL, Python and so on. So if you haven't watched my series till now, then please go and watch my Databricks and PySpark series. So if I open my channel, then you can see we have around 48 total videos. Okay. And here I upload videos on, you know, how introduction to database, how we can read a CSV file and then, you know, how we can rename and add new columns and so on. So there are total 48 videos. Please watch these videos and then watch this video, watch what I am creating now. Okay. So the task is that we have some, uh, you know, we have some uh, CSV file. You can see this CSV file look like this and we need to load this data and write it into uh, in some location using partition by okay so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna i'm gonna do uh, df spark dot read csv and give me this location okay and here let me pass option option is what uh, option is uh, infer schema infer schema not needed let me write header two and uh, okay cool and let me write df dot show so that i will show you some output yeah, it's running after that what i want what i'm gonna do is that I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this. Okay, headers are not true. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, save this into some location. So I'm gonna write df dot write mode over write dot over write dot. What we can use save save some location right okay save some location so my location would be the same but i will change a table name or we can say a file name so output output dot csv cool and here df dot partition mode I will use here partition by cool so partition by now I'm gonna I'm gonna do a partition by based on this code so here I will write code okay now let me run this command Oh shit, one minute. Uh, df dot write dot mode and here let me use a format. I want to save in a delta format. Okay. Okay, this is done. Now I will show you. delta dot this now let me show you the data it is running okay now you can see we have around 20 rows present over here cool and uh, if i do partitions if i you know do a show partition show show partitions we'll see whether we can okay it's not coming partitions now you can see uh, you know we have two partitions fc200 and fc201 okay so if you can see like i have done 
I have you know I have used here partition by on basis of this code column. Correct. Now my requirement is that you might be now my requirement is that suppose the data is changed. Now the data is coming for FC two not two for FC two not two. So for that what I will do? What I will do? Mm, this is you right here. I will create a one data frame. So let's say I will I will write here df is equal to spark dot create data frame and here I will write let's say one comma a b c d cool and here I will I I will write f c twenty two not 22 two zero two right since we have uh, two not uh, two hundred and two not one so I am writing here FC two not two and here I will give name like ID cool name and code cannot do a infer schema Cool. Okay. And let me copy this and paste me paste. Let me paste it over here. Now cancel this. Here I will write one more command is that option overwrite. schema make it true now see I am now I am uh, uh, reading this DF right so if I do DF dot show then you can see that you know I have only one row and the code is FC 202 now I'm going to write this and now I'm going to write this into our Delta Lake Cool. Now, if I do this show partitions delta, then we'll see. Now you can see we have only the latest partitions present over here. Even though, even though, if you do dbutils.fs.ls on this location, so let me write this shortcut. Now you can see we have all these partitions FC 200, FC 201, FC 202. But when when we are doing select star from table, okay, when we are doing select star from table, we are getting only only the latest partitions. Okay, why it is happening? Any idea? Okay, then get an idea. Let me show you also select a statement now you can see you know we have only one one uh, row but what I want is that you know I want all the data present over here all the partition data present over here we were doing some mistake in this command while writing the data now there are two ways first way is that what we can do we can use here append okay what we can do we can use here append so let me write here append and to uh, do over that schema delta code and let me run uh, take this csv first cool and now let me run this Okay, no worries. What I will do, I'm gonna first delete this. I know what is the, what is, what is, uh, you know, why it is failing. So, okay, let me 
delete this and okay so let me remove this path first okay so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this path so dbutils dot fs dot uh, rm and then I will pass here to as a parameter now let me run this okay it's done now let me do the process again so here I will read the data okay this is also coming as a string so let me write here a string instead of uh, you know instead of the ID okay this is done now let me write this append Ding, ding, ding. okay it's it's done now if I run this data now you can see we have FC 202 why it is coming because I I I ran this command okay before that correct now okay F41 okay now let me run this command and now let me run this write statement Dun, 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 dun. it's done now let me run this show partitions now you can see we have multiple we have multiple values present over here okay and even though if I do select star from this delta table then you can see we have all the rows present over here now you can see we have all the data present over here but what if if I run this uh, command again okay so if I run this command again then then will we may have the duplicates okay so if I run this select star from delta table now you can see we have 41 rows okay so this is not a good solution so in order to uh, get rid of this what we can do is that we can use replace where option okay we can use replace where option now uh, how we can do is that I will write here overwrite and uh, here I can write option cool and here I will use replace where option replace where on basis of what so I'm gonna replace based on my partition column so my partition column is code so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna replace only the latest partition latest uh, latest what we can say latest uh, data so we are creating you know we are creating this uh, this you know this uh, code you know I mean we are we are creating a base of code so I'm gonna pass this thing here so right now I am doing uh, statically but you can also make it dynamic based on your you know requirement so okay now uh, you know uh, what I'll do I'll remove this path again and I'll show you end to end so let me do this DP utils dot fs dot rm two and let me run this cancel it and this is first this is first command and here this is the second command I'm gonna write it down cool now I will make this and here I will change the code a bit FC to not to uh, data written or does not replace
check constant expression code fc validate device host and other code fc okay what is happening let me check it okay here what i'm what i'm asking that code is equal to fc202 partition by overwrite and why it is failing data written does not match the place where code whatever the data is written okay so here i have to use i see now what they are saying is that whatever the data is written uh, written over there uh, you know does does not contain this code is equal to fc202 okay so that's why it's getting failed now what is the hack here okay so i missed this you know this code so when i run this and then if i do this show partition delta now you can see we have all the partitions present and if i do select star from table then you will see we have 22 21 21 was right see there is no duplicate even though if i run this again then we will not have a duplicates because what is gonna do it's gonna only replace or you know work on this partitions only you know it's not gonna overwrite everything okay so i hope you have understood this concept and if you like please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel and we will we will meet you in the next lecture bye bye